your character um, in the last episode, Ray and uh, Sarah, get stuck in 1958. Yeah. Um, what can you tell us about uh, the episodes coming up that we're going to look forward to seeing in your character development? Um, well, what's been teased is that we get stuck there for two years, so that's kind of a lot of time, especially since the people on the ship might not have gone through two years worth of change, um, which will be interesting how they will then assimilate back together, and will they assimilate back together well, or will we even get back on the ship? Who knows? <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I think that that also will either bond or tear apart the people who got left behind being stranded and, and not in a, in a time period that I, don't, I think Sarah and Kendra are not super fond of this time period. <laughs> um, I think Ray maybe likes it, but uh, you know, that's also going to be interesting to see how that dynamic plays out. little cinnamon bun right like she's like <laughs> so sad the first episode second episode she loses her son and her boyfriend you know not really boyfriend but um, yeah I think it's been really hard for her um, but I think that every kind of traumatic thing that happens is something that galvanizes her so that she's more confident in herself and who, what she has to do which is kill Savage um, so I think the further along she gets with her training and, and the more that they kind of experience the wrath of Savage, I think it'll become easier for her to, easier, easier to kill someone. Jeez, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's not really a win-win, but uh, yeah, I think it'll be, she'll be more confident in what she has to do. Yeah. yeah, I know, I was... <laughs> I, I know, I, uh, someone someone tweeted to the, the writer's room, the next DC show should be uh, Kendra Bachelorette. <laughs> I mean, because it's Savage, Hawkman, Jax, Ray, um, and somebody else. Oh, uh, well, somebody else. So anyway, <laughs> we're like, geez. Um, no, I mean, it's kind of cool, though. That's, a, that's, I think, a different take. Than we normally see for women. Normally, it's you know, all the women are fawning over one guy, or the girl is the ingenue that gets to be with the one guy that she's been destined with. And I think Kendra's totally fighting that um, tooth and nail because she's a pretty modern woman. She doesn't want to feel like she has to be tied to something or committed to something before she's figured out who she is. So, yeah. Definitely doesn't suit Kendra. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, I would love to do Earth 2. Like, I want to see, what does that mean? Is she from, I always wonder that. Like, the writers haven't necessarily given me an answer, but like, is she from Earth 2? Like, because she's supposed to be, and, and she's the new 52 or whatever. So I'm like, I don't know, what, what does that mean? Maybe we find out that she is from Earth 2. I think that would be kind of fun. <laughs> um, I think you'll see a lot of her backstory through flashbacks and memories, because I. it's kind of like, um, uh, oh, I can't think of the term. But when you lose your memory, you try to look at pictures or things that remind you of stuff. But she's had 4,000 years, so like everything's gonna remind her of something, right? <laughs> so um, I think the more she starts to bump into things, especially in, excuse me, <coughs> in uh, different time periods, I think she's gonna, yeah, this is a lot to, to play with. So, yeah. so it's gonna be more Shaira's memories than. More Shaira's, yeah. I think um, that's the hard thing about being 4,000 years old is like, who am I this lifetime? And is it different or isn't it different? I mean, what, what would you do if you had 200 some lifetimes? Would you really change? You know, because, you know, a lot of people think, oh, people don't change, which I don't believe. But, um, you know, if I had another lifetime, if I knew another lifetime was coming, I'd be like, all right, next time I'm, I'm going to be more brave or, or next time I'm going to be a doctor or next time I'm going to, you know, you, you have all these options. Um, so it's, it's cool to, to know that I've, she's had all these other lives, occupations, families, everything. It's, it's really awesome. Uh, in the episode Night of the Hawk, um, there's a scene between you and Casper uh, from the character Savage yeah. where you look so intimidated because he's coming up to you and, <laughs> <laughs> like, you look terrified. Yeah. Uh, to try to play home. Well, what was it like 
Um, it's interesting. Casper in real life is like such a total goof, but when he turns on Savage, it's creepy. It's it's creepy in real life. It really is creepy, especially with all the face touching. He's always like, you're like, dude, don't touch me. Whoa. So he's sufficiently creepy. I didn't have to play much because it was already there. <laughs>